guys, welcome back, Fishing Planet. Still in Michigan, surprise, surprise. Um, I just had the worst flu I have ever had in my life. Um, I had a video for you guys last week and I realized that I just, I sounded really bad. That was right before I got sick. And so I haven't really had much time to play this game. Uh, my wife got it, I got it, my daughter got it, so it's just, it's like the exorcist house. And I made really, really close friends with my toilet. So, sorry I haven't been uploading much, and I'm sorry that I'm not in Alaska yet. Uh, it's taken me a little bit to do this, but I wanted to go for something else uh, before, you know, by the, let's see, we've got the brown trout figured out, the bass figured out, the pike and the walleye figured out. So I figured, you know, let's go find some catfish. And I want to say thanks to a YouTuber by the name of, I think he's Wandering Hippie. I don't know. If you're listening, thank you. Uh, and thank you for bringing me into your hippie circle. Um, but he's actually the reason why I know where to catch the blue catfish. Um, and so I just, I wanted to make a video kind of showcasing where to get these things. And as you can see, I've already caught my first trophy. Uh, the money's pretty good. The experience is okay. And the size is nice. So, yeah, why not, right? All right, so... I've got crawfish, as you can see, but it's not just crawfish that you can use. You can use the large cut bait as well. Um, I've got a three-aught hook on there right now because my my setup can't take it. I mean, I, I don't even know how I pulled in that 42-pounder, honestly. I That 20 or that 19-pounder right after the 40-pounder, I thought that that was going to be a fucking whale. I thought it was going to strip me out and take all my gear. So it's not the size of the fish really that that does your gear in. It's how much fight they have. Um, that big ass trophy was like pulling in just a piece of flat plywood. And the, the 19 pounder, I thought, like I said, I thought it was Moby Dick. So uh, we'll go over the gear that I've got. And hopefully I can continue catching these things. Uh, just as frequently as I have been give you something to watch here All right, we'll see what we can get All right, there we go. There's something Not gonna be the biggest fish in the world, but it's something now they only um, Bite That's the smallest one I've caught uh, from what I've been hearing. They only bite between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. So, um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys where I'm at. We're at the fairy tale fishing spot. As you can see, that's that was my day. Um, I got the butt cheek diagram there. So it's weird. I keep hearing. I don't know if somebody has like a thousand doors on their car or what the hell's going on. That's weird. Oh, anyway, sorry. I digress. Uh, so fairy tale fishing spot. And uh, when you when you load in, I mean, there's really you can't get lost. Okay, there's the boat that uh, this stretch here is where we go for our brown trout and our bass, and um, it's also going to be where we go for our catfish. But we're going to be a little bit closer. We're going to be a little bit further to the right, and we're going to be a little bit closer into shore, or not to shore, but to our dock here, to our little floating party. Oh, and of course the lead's going to be all the way at 99, so maxed out, whatever that may be, whatever, uh, I want to say whatever measurements you guys are using, because I know that uh, some of them is in inches and some of them is in centimeters, I guess, depending on how you have your uh, interface loaded, so max it out, that's all I can say, I don't know what, you know, what the number is going to be for you and it looks like I've just reached the end of my fishing day so if nothing else we'll just fast forward to the next day see what we can catch during the uh, during the day and I signed up for a tournament for trout 
and it's going to start here in about an hour and a half so I'm going to try to get this video to be as um, entertaining as possible as far as you know the type of fish that we catch and how many uh, but I do have a short amount of time before I need to because I'm going to have to exit all the way back out uh, restock on my gear and then come back in before the tournament so I got to get my I got to get all my stuff ready there we go oh got a jumper All right, there we go. Nice little brown trout. This is where I'm going to go for my for the tourney later. This is what I'm going to do. Hopefully my technique works. Hopefully my spot works. If it does, it does. If not, well, like I said, it's only my first tournament, so I'm hoping it'll let me go into my friends only room or my private room so I don't have to see other players and I, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way I just mean that in a way that I I just I like to fish in my own spot without seeing you know without having the risk of somebody standing in front of me or whatever smallmouth bass alright ah. Oh. How did I, oh, how did I mess that up? I know what I did. I was an idiot. So, yeah, there we go. There, plain and simple. User error. That was stupid. I can't believe I did that. There we go. Not going to lose this son of a bitch. Oh, it's going to be a nice fish. Oh yeah, it's a nice trout. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do okay in the tournament today. I hope. I don't know. I definitely got my brown trout spot. That's for sure. So hopefully, hopefully it will pan out. I don't know. Like I said, I, I've got about an hour and 10 minutes now so I'm just right now I'm just kind of burning off the daylight and Jarvis is telling me I have a message uh, I'm just burning off daylight right now until I can catch some more catfish probably gonna go for one more trout here and then I'll go ahead and fast forward it to this you know seven to nine um, 7 to 9 p.m. time and hopefully we can get some more blue catfish in the in the tank uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for the tournament I'm gonna record it if it goes well I'll post it if it's a complete flop I'll probably still post it because I I mean you know it's just fun it's just a fun game so I'm not planning on placing or winning or anything like that because I mean anytime you go into something and you plan on winning that's in my eyes it's kind of I don't know setting yourself up for defeat maybe I'm not sure I just I just want to go in to see what the tournaments are like and have fun go after trout have a have some sort of a objective in this game besides just fishing so it'll be fun Hopefully, if all goes well, it'll be fun. Well, this is just shitty as fuck. So, I think I'm about done. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's it's funny how you can go from catching a fish every single cast to the next day, the same weather, the same forecast, the same times, and just not catch jack diddly shit so that's about as close to real life fishing as I've seen a game come that's for sure 
So this might be a flop because I've I've got to get ready for this tournament thing. So we might not be we might not be catching our last little set of catfish here, which is it's a letdown, but at the same time there's nothing I can do. Not too happy about this. I mean, I haven't even had so much as a fucking nibble. So there we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. All right. Well, I I guess that's how we're going to end it. A smallmouth bass on a three-aught hook. At two pounds when we were going for the big blue catfish. So I, that's, that's how I'm going to end it. And hopefully I can get a better catfish video put together for you guys. Um, I'm honestly trying to get the hell out of here as fast as I can. I've got one more level to go after this. So I think, right, I think it's level 34 you have to be to get to Alaska. Uh, I think, right? And I'm level 32. Yeah, so I think I've got two more levels to go. But... Uh, We'll see. We'll figure it out. I guess it wasn't the same forecast. So maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe it was supposed to be one of these days or, you know, who knows. But uh, anyway. All right, you guys. Until next time, thank you so much for hanging out, watching me. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, questions, hate mail, concerns, or I, I honestly, I don't even know what else to list after that. Please feel free. Shoot me a comment. And um, as always, I will respond. I always respond. So you guys have a fantastic day, morning, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're watching it. And um, hopefully I'll have my tournament video up later. All right, you guys, take care. Happy fishing.